Hello and welcome everybody to this brief market update from XTB. My name is Willie Kudvani, Chief Market Analyst for XTB. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what's happening with the banking crisis, some of the key things to keep an eye on this week, and just a summary of what happened as it is a complicated topic, but I'm going to try and break it down as simply as possible, as quickly as possible. So let's start with some highlights. Over the weekend, the uh, UBS has agreed to buy Credit Suisse in the government broker deal aimed at restoring calm and confidence in the European banking sector. Swiss banks are in the spotlight this week, along with the whole banking sector, really, and the financial sector. The Swiss National Bank has announced that UBS will buy Credit Suisse in the government broker deal and for about 3 billion Swiss francs and obtain about 9 billion in government uh, guarantees as well. On top of that, 10 billion Swiss francs will also be provided as additional liquidity. The government guarantees to UBS should not come as a surprise given that the bank will also take on some about 5 billion Swiss francs of Credit Suisse losses. UBS's takeover of Credit Suisse leads to an interesting and potentially dangerous situation in the Swiss banking sector. As you would imagine, these are some of the biggest banks, if not the two biggest banks. Of course, the merger of the two largest Swiss banks means that over 50% of bank deposits in the country will be held by a single institution. This is a significant concentration and could have serious consequences for the stability of this banking sector in Switzerland if UBS were to deal with a bank run. And that is a risk that some banks are now really considering at this point. However, while this immediately seemed to have reassured some investors, shares started the day down over 15%. However, they have quickly recovered in the course of the day on Monday, and it really remains to be seen how the situation will evolve as the week goes on. Despite this, the situation remains volatile, and of course, any news that emerges could have a significant impact. There are many central banks, including the Swiss National Bank, that are going to be discussing this this week. There's the Fed decision as well on Wednesday, so it really remains to be seen. Let's take a look just briefly at the chart. As I mentioned, 15% down, actually about 16% down, pulling back and now testing the area here. That you can see the yellow box above the two moving averages, 21 and 8, and testing almost the high and acting as a resistance. So the situation seems to have stabilized for the time being, but as we have seen, it can change very quickly. But we will keep you up to date with XDB. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck with your trading.